Thank you. Back in Hines County, there are several candidates who are running for judge positions in the Chancery and Circuit Courts. 12 News' Jeremy Harrell is live at the Hines County Courthouse with more on those results so far. Jeremy? Yes, guys, I'm down here in the Hines County um, Courthouse basement where poll workers are working tirelessly trying to get these votes tallied. As you can see behind me, the, the atmosphere here, you have folks on, on the scene looking, trying to, and anxiously waiting. But if you look over here to the right, you see the ballot boxes earlier where they were counting the absentee ballots. Well, unfortunately, I talked to um, circuit clerk Zach Wallace, and he says that uh, they have about 2,800 absentee ballots, and they're not going to be able to count all of those tonight. He says the official results are in, um, but they are unofficial right now because they have to count the absentee ballots, uh, and they're going to do that tomorrow. Now, earlier we did speak with Demetrius Hodges, who is currently leading in the race for District Chancery Court Judge District 5, Sub District 3, and she says she's going to do everything she can to help the people of Hines County. Make sure I prioritize safety, security, and stability for our children and families in Hines County. My life experience definitely warrants that. Um, being a former foster child, now li uh, a li licensed foster parent, um, and also with my legal experiences, I'll be able to be day one ready to serve the county, the city, and the district I was born and raised in. Now, there are other candidates here waiting for their results to, to be completed. But as I said before, um, they're packing them as, as we speak because they're going to continue to count those absentee votes on tomorrow morning. And we'll continue to stay here to get the latest updates for you. But for right now, I'm Jeremy Harrell in Hines County for 12 News.